It's the annual gathering of conservative activists in America. Well, it used to be. These days, it's more like a political pilgrimage for the sole worship of one man. Trump is an honest-to-God warrior. I mean, we were at the greatest we ever were in America when Trump served as president of the United States, and we love him. Never mind Trump hasn't officially won the Republican nomination yet. They don't do details here. They simply smell victory in the air. Or should I say prayer? We're all praying for him, and prayer works miracles. But do you not think people will be praying for Biden as well? Are you kidding? I don't know. We're deep inside the MAGA bubble here, where Trump fanatics like Lady MAGA still question the last election as they confidently predict Trump will win the next one. Trump lost last time. You know, why, why does everybody here say that he can win again? Aren't you all just fooling yourselves? Oh, absolutely not. First of all, did he lose? Has there been a staunch in-depth investigation of the election? No, there hasn't. Of course, there were over 60 court cases that showed no fraud and two current criminal cases charging Trump with trying to overturn the 2020 election. But none of that moves the dial here. It's all very well taking the temperature on Donald Trump inside the Donald Trump bubble. We all know they love him here. They love him so much, in fact, they're even prepared to wear his face. But how do voters feel about him outside in the real world? Just outside this very Trumpy bubble, do you think he stands a chance of winning the presidential election, you know, among real Republicans, some of whom are wary about what's going on in Trump world? There are just so many issues plaguing the country now with inflation, with Israel-Palestine, with Russia and Ukraine. Looking at Joe Biden as a person, as a president, as an executive, as the sole leader, we just can't have confidence in that. I think in 2024, Donald Trump will get his revenge. You can see how the polls are going now. The latest polling puts the two most likely candidates for the White House in November almost neck and neck. But Donald Trump has a slight advantage, a one-point lead. Amid the MAGA madness, look who popped up pushing the need for a strong conservative hand on the wheel. Of course, we need a Republican back in the White House. We need it desperately. Trust fit right in, even suggesting it was an American-style deep state that was responsible for her embarrassing demise as prime minister, not her unfunded tax cuts that tanked the economy. I face the most almighty backlash for those conservative policies that I tried to put in place. It, from the usual suspects in the media, from the usual suspects in the corporate world, but also from people that were meant to work for the government. We tried to ask if her being here meant she endorsed Donald Trump. Liz Truss, you want a Republican back in the White House. Are you endorsing Donald Trump? I want a Republican back in the White House. Is that, is, that, is that Donald Trump, though? But the woman the Americans love to compare to Margaret Thatcher wasn't for answering. Liz Truss, you're at a MAGA conference. Do you not endorse Donald Trump? Any answer, Liz Truss? Who do you endorse? Who are you endorsing, Liz Truss? There must be an answer in there somewhere. You're here at a MAGA conference. Who do you endorse? Is this the brand of conservatism you want to bring to the UK? If trust was all about strong conservative values, here in America, those values are intricately intertwined with Christianity. For only here would you find an artist painting an image of Jesus in a crown of thorns as emotional Trump supporters watch on. It was Trump, after all, who paved the way for the overturning of a woman's right to choose in the US, a victory for the evangelical right. And this week's decision in Alabama to declare that frozen embryos created by in vitro fertilization are considered children was another big win. Is a frozen embryo a human being in your view? Oh, 100%. Yes, that is a human being. And it's unethical to even freeze embryos in the first place. A very good decision, thankfully, because those children, they're children. They're not just some scientific glob. Yet more culture war fuel that looks set to supercharge the run-up to November's election in a bitterly divided America that Donald Trump and his acolytes say only he can save.